everybody welcome back to this brand new youtube video where today i'm teaching you how you can go and record your xbox one gameplay insanely easily and let's get jumped straight into this because you do not need a capture card which is the best thing here before you get any further please make sure you subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate it, as this video took me a long time to make and also like the video as well uh, just a token of thanks and um, yeah basically this video is going to help you out so much because it's going to allow you to create YouTube videos using your Xbox gameplay no matter what game it is this will work and I think it's an awesome method to start you know start your YouTube career before you go out and buy a capture card this is a good way of getting into YouTube without spending much money and it's so so easy and I'm going over the whole method in this video I thank you so much for the support on the last Xbox video I did about a year ago it got over 80,000 views which is incredible so thank you so much for that and yeah let's jump straight into this video okay so first step is to go on your Xbox and just go into a game or just on your home screen which is absolutely fine and press the icon in the middle of your Xbox controller so you have the side panel up which says home so you're currently you're gonna have this which I'm gonna put them all on the screen by the way currently you're gonna have this image and then you want to go is all you need to do is scroll along to go to the broadcast and capture tab and you're gonna have these tabs here saying broadcast set up your broadcast capture recent captures advanced settings watch mixer level up your stream so what we want to do is simply go to uh, capture just to see what it's actually gonna be like for now and as you can see currently it says record from now up to 10 minutes which is awful we do not want that screenshot or capture what happened which is really low up to 10 minutes isn't really enough I sometimes find when recording videos and that's why I do prefer it to be longer which is why I'm making this video because and also if you do this it's currently only recording to your Xbox hard drive making it harder to transfer to your computer when you come to edit it essentially or edit it or just upload it to YouTube so what we want to do is go back to here and simply move down to advanced settings camera clip resolution or more from the broadcast and catch a tab I didn't say that before so move back and come down to advanced settings once you click on that all you want to do is have you have all these preferences right here and I'm gonna go all all I'm gonna go through them all for you so as you can see currently on the broadcast section we've got the mic on mic volume at five and game system volume at five so this is all custom for you i often record my speech and commentary with audacity in a computer so you've got a laptop or your desktop or anything you i recommend actually recording it separately and then adding in your commentary later on it's just a lot easier i personally find anyway and now here we've got capture so obviously make sure you've got allow game catches ticked and now we've got these settings here so currently we've got record that duration 30 seconds automatically uploaded captures by me and you've got your gameplay resolution at 720p so make sure you do change that to 1080p if you want to be recording in 1080p because that does look a lot better on youtube so i do recommend that and currently capture location is going to be on internal which we're going to find a way around that to extend it and have be able to move it onto our computer and quickly i want to show you on game click resolution uh the length of what we can record so as you can see we can only record up to two minutes in 1080p which is not enough at all especially for making a commentary video or like a, a tutorial video inside of a game that is not long enough and 720p is only five minutes which 720p is okay but five minutes is not enough because obviously that means that youtube video is only be about three minutes once you cut it up and edit it which is just not long enough and you obviously want that to be a lot longer uh for it to look good on youtube which is the most important thing so you know what we're going to extend this a lot and it's a really easy method and that's why i'm telling you guys because a lot of people want to get into youtube nowadays and it's really hard especially with these huge youtubers making high quality content you've got to try and get there with them and this is a good way on a budget to you know get up there without having to go out and buy an elgato or capture cards because they do get really expensive especially when you're first on youtube it's really hard to go and spend that amount of money so let's fix this so all you want to do is go on to amazon.co.co.uk if you're in the uk or go on amazon Amazon.com. Okay, so now you want to go and look for a USB stick, which is a USB 3.0. As you can see, I've got this image up here. You need to have a USB 3.0. It says storage must be 3.0 or faster and formatted as NTFS, which I'm about to show you in a minute how to do that. So do not write that second bit, but make sure you've got a USB 3.0. So a lot of people have these sort of lying around. 
but I personally don't. So to go around this, make sure you just go to Amazon. I've got a load of links down below, um, which you need to go and check out. And essentially there, I'm going to link the best ones you're going to want to be using because they're going to be, basically they will definitely work with this and it's with Amazon. So it's safe, it's definitely safe and secure. And I've got all of the different regions down below. So go and check them out. So essentially you want to go and find a 3.0 and I've listed them loads. So I'm going to have a 16 down there, a, a 16 gigabyte, a 32 gigabyte, and even bigger, maybe even a 64 gig or or even 128 gigs so it all depends on how long you want to record I do recommend a 64 gigabyte ideally but a 32 or 16 is fine but you probably have to delete your previous clips every time you come to record another video which I may find annoying I like to keep my game playing because I want to use it again in another video so I do recommend trying to get a big, the biggest one as possible because then you can record longer but also you don't have to delete all your um, footage every time you go and simply want to record more so yeah that is pretty much the main thing you want to know about the USB stick you may have one but or just get you I would recommend get another so it's dedicated for that and you definitely know it's the Xbox you don't have to go and use it something else uh, because you'll have to format it and stuff so yeah that's the the memory stick you want so now once you've got that memory stick you want to plug it into a computer now I personally have a Windows computer but you can do this on Mac as well so plug it in and basically go down to your file explorer till you find this so as you can see these are my files here this PC go down to the new volume or whatever the USB is called and simply right click on it and go to format now here it's going to change what the memory stick is and how it reads data um, which is why the Xbox needs it to be a certain format so then click on format and simply now you're going to be with this brand new formatting um, sort of file explorer thing so all you want to do is make sure where it says file system it says NTFS uh, mine says default but yours may not just make sure it is that uh, often they already come in the NTFS um, file system and therefore you won't need to do anything but otherwise just change it to that and then you can start using it for your Xbox which is absolutely key because otherwise it's not going to work as the NTFS uh, otherwise or gameplay actually may be corrupted so just make sure you do those it's so important because you don't lose any footage and by the way my capacity is 931 gigs because this isn't actually the USB stick I'm using this is just a test on one of my hard drives so do not worry your, yours does not need to be that big and that is very rare that it actually needs to be that big so the next thing you want to do is go and plug it into your Xbox and go back to preferences, broadcast and capture and go back to where it was internal and now you should have another pop up saying USB. Now that is where you want to be because that means your, it's going to, if your Xbox has detected the memory stick you put in and you can now record onto that. So obviously go and select it and now I'm going to quickly run through the next couple of things. So you will then have a pop up once you click that saying this lets you capture longer clips and edit on your PC which is obviously the whole purpose of this um, and depending on the size of your storage device game clips can be up to 60 minutes long which is so good because therefore you can don't have to complete you know keep on stopping recording and you can get a long video and then edit it up in your editing software you can then go and connect the storage to your PC to view and edit captures there and I'll quickly run over that in a minute. So yeah, cl clips and screenshots captured on external storage can be viewed on this Xbox but you can't edit them in Upload Studio or share them on Xbox Live. Do not worry about that because we can then do it on our computer or your tablet. Uh, I know a lot of tablets can edit now or your phone even or your laptop or computer, whatever you have, you can edit them on. And this, you can open them up on PC, Mac or Linux because they're just a standard file which is so, so easy. So obviously go and click confirm on that and then we're going to be making progress so next you can go and again go back to preferences next you need to go back all the way back to where we originally were okay so now you need to jump into the game or just your Xbox home screen and all you want to do is go back to the capture um, tab and now you can go down and click capture and your record from now will say will now say up to one hour that is the ideal situation we want because now we can record the whole length of what we need to and then go and import it onto our computer and go and edit it up now if you're wondering what how i edit I personally edit in Sony Vegas, but you can use any free editors and by chance I've actually made videos on the awesome YouTube free editors which you can use for YouTube videos, not YouTube branded, but they're editors which you can use and they're so easy to use, I've got tutorials on how to use them, so therefore you can go and create an awesome video from this footage and you know, you've now got a memory stick you can now record on and you can make awesome gameplay videos and tutorials in games which I really recommend doing and I've got a load more similar videos like this and if you're interested in growing on YouTube, make sure you go download TubeBuddy down down below and check out my brand new YouTube course it's gonna help you grow a lot so make sure you go check that out and I really appreciate you watching this video I look forward to catching you in the next one peace out